All right, everybody, welcome. Uh, this is going to be a little quick tutorial about Movie Studio 14 because if you look at the Vegas video, there, there's there's quite there's a couple of differences, and I've watched these Movie Studio uh, videos, and most of them are um, you know from yesteryear videos. Hopefully, this video will uh, help make your day a lot faster. So, there's a couple of things I want to go over real quick. Is basically each one of these little snippets. Okay, has its own crop and effects. Each one of these snippets. Okay? Alright, so we go to the little track here, and we're going to click Duplicate Track. When you duplicate track, another track's going to show up. You can see that I already did that. Yo, I'm sure you're familiar. First, uh, first layer, second layer, third layer, fourth layer. So you duplicated the layer. Now that you duplicated the layer, let's come down here, and we're going to mute this track. Alright? So we mute this track, and then we're going to go to this snippet. Okay, this big snippet here that I haven't done all of it, and we're going to go over to the uh, effects tool. So we click on the effects tool. So we go to Vegas, and the first one we're going to choose is Cookie Cutter, which is one of your, your basic. Uh, double click on it, and it shows up at the top there, Cookie Cutter. And click OK. And there's Cookie Cutter, and we're going to do that again. We're going to resize it. Boom. Okay, and then we're going to drag this little plus sign over to the cookie cutter here. Okay, now we're going to add another effects uh, on top of that effect. So we're going to do plug-in chain. Okay, so we're going to do plug-in chain. Now there's two different ones that are very popular. You got your blur, which would be your Gaussian blur. And then and down in creative here, you got your uh, pixelate, right? So pixelate, you've seen it on Jerry Springer where they pixelate the guy's face. Looks like a bunch of blocks. All right, so that's pixelate. For this particular application, we're using Gaussian Blur. So we're going to double-click the Gaussian Blur, adds it to the, uh, the plug-in chain. You're going to click OK. Boom, boom. All right, great. Okay, so you got your little effects up there, right? But the, here's the issue. The issue is you want this to flow. You don't want to be sitting there clicking on all this stuff for every single element. So what I found out through trial and error is that this particular um, clip, as, as, as it's elongated, it's a long clip, um, it goes smoother if you're going forward. Like I said, with each one of these clips, it has its own effect. So if you got to go in there and change every effect, then you know you you pretty pretty uh, pretty pressed on time. All right. So click in the the uh, .05, okay, and then you got your different colors. Not really sure what that is, but we'll do that in another tutorial. All right. So we're gonna come over here and. Here's 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 like the tricks of the magic here. You got your cookie cutter. You're gonna stay on your cookie cutter because that's where the plus is. That's where the uh, the element is. You can move around, okay? Or you can move it around in here. But come on, man, you can't see nothing in here, right? And and maybe you're not as, you know, you don't have uh, you know two three monitors. Well, that's not gonna be help helpful. So, uh, with that said, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go with your center here, and we're gonna click on this little thing, which is animate. Now, animate is basically like you chasing around that plus sign but the animate is going to remember where you changed it so every time this element changes in motion you're gonna have your little cookie cutter tool here so we're gonna get out of the way here with this uh, this video effects but keep it open right um, and you're gonna stay on the cookie cutter cookie cutter here so we come down here alright and we're gonna unmute unmute this guy okay I'm gonna move it over here I'm gonna try to keep it out of the way you're going to unmute this, and if you see, I put the little plus over it. Now, here's the trick. The trick is you want to use Alt and arrow keys. You want to use Alt and either left or right, and that's going to go from frame to frame to frame. You don't want to keep clicking on this guy because, yeah, you can go to the next frame, but you're going to be here all day. So basically what I found out is your pinky on the Alt and your index finger on the arrow, and you're good to go. So we're going to do this real quick, and we're just going to go down the line. Again, we're on the cookie cutter, and we're going down the line here. So we're going to go to the next frame. Going to go to the next frame. Wait a minute. you got to make sure you're on the right program here. Uh, Alt and, okay, so you see I'm getting it out of there. Going to go up here. You're going to move it a little, and then when you move it, when you, when you unmove the mouse, if you notice, it leaves these little diamonds here, which are little keyframes. You can see on the bottom one here, it's uh, it it it's doubled up, okay. And each one of these is remembering where this plus sign was with an X and Y coordinates. All right. So basically, you're going to use your Alt, your arrow, move it off, move, keep covering it, move, 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 
Okay, keep covering it. Keep covering it by keyframe here. Keep covering it. All right, guys, thanks for listening, man. That pretty much covers it up. Again, if uh, if you get stuck, my uh, my my each one of these clips has its own effect. So if you get stuck where you clip one of these tracks, you see here I deleted the tracks uh, where I didn't need the blur. Right, so you want to get back to the section where you need the blur. Go down here and click the effects. Uh, only when you go backwards uh, do the elements change, uh, the plugins change. So when you're going forward, pretty much the plugin that you set will go forward. All right, because these ones are unedited, they're basically blank. But it keeps all the plugins for this particular clip. So click effects and um, happy editing. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. I got more to come. I got some other videos. Check those out. If you're stopping by, leave a comment, dude. Say what's up. And, uh, Odaga. Peace.